I know one thing, Mrs. Vaughn isn't giving up on the Bobcats. She'll love them no matter what. She'll probably have chili tomorrow night. Now let's see what type of adjustments the Bobcats make to try to nibble into this 19 to nothing deficit. Kinzer with a solid boot stomp. Goichai cuts through a hole. He's still rumbling and tumbling. That's the first chance Goichai's had to really show off his speed. He'll get pushed out the 45 yard line. You know, again, you know, caught ball here, you know, fumble. Yeah, if it weren't for them fumbles and a few penalties. Bobcats be really right in the mix. They make a few adjustments there. Let's see what Coach Holloway wants to try and execute. Myers up on her center. Jobin cuts off tackle. And he's rumbling. That'll be a 15-yard pickup. We'll spot that at about the 43-yard line. Let's see if Harrison Falco and Dalton Bailey can Myers up bust in. Center. They busted in, Jobin? but Jobin ran right by him. Jobin for about another six yard splash. David Shepard enters the game for the Bobcats. Replaces Duncan, give Duncan a breather. Myers hands to Jobin again. Jobin keeps rumbling and tumbling. You know, I really thought Jobin ran well last year as a sophomore on varsity. You know, we watched him up there in the Uper Dome against Nagani. Break loose for some long jaunts. Yeah, he plays a lot bigger than what he is. Nice two-way player, actually. He is. He's sound on both ends of the ball. Hunter under center. He goes to Jobin again. Shows no signs of getting tired. Oh, and he, somehow he wiggles loose for the 24-yard scamper. Looked like he was gobbled up at about the seven-yard line. And he shredded a couple of tackles, shattered another. Ouch, that hurts. Some powerful running by Jobin. I'll make it 25 to nothing. See what the Bucks do here on the extra point attempt. Kind of looks like they're going for two. Yep, we got Jernigan and Jobin in the backfield. That was four consecutive runs by Jobin. Jobin again. He's lambasted by big Tyler O'Toole. Introduces them to tool man tool time. That's a mouthful. Like you said, you know, a lot of hard running by Jobin. Like Tim Taylor used to say, more power. That's kind of what the Bobcats need in their offense. Not so much drop back launching. You know, I'd like to see them get Brett Rowley develop some rhythm. You know, they, they kind of seem to abandon Hudson. He had some nice runs. Yeah. 
You know, and with the 25 to nothing deficit, it'll be interesting to see how he integrates the run into the. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to become one dimensional, you know, but you are kind of forced to quicken the pace a little bit. You know, if they can just throw some of those short passes, is kind of what I was getting at, not just dropping back and throwing it long every time. They can throw the sidelines, little seven and 10 yard outs. Well, Sluck seemed to make those work in the first half. Two times it was thrown his direction. Well, they got Campbell and Hudson deep back for the turn. Ross the Common bunched up in a, looks like they're trying to do some monster mash. Well, on Sider. Uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh oh. But the Bobcats take it, and they'll be spotted at about the 36 yard line. Who recovered that? Was that Tyler Kapichka, number 26? I believe it was. Jamie Hammond kind of looks like he's licking his chops right here. So does that uh, number 20, Kyle Kennan. He's a wicked defensive end. Oh, Jamie Hans, Jamie Hammond. Breaks loose. Right on cue, Jamie Hammond buries Hudson in the backfield. You know, with uh, Mitch Tyler and Jamie Hammond, you've got a couple of the tougher guys in the league to block, don't you? Yeah, Tyler really brings a lot of speed to the table, too, along with his physicality. Dull. Throws a dart to Tyler to Sluck. That'd be about a 10-yard gain, actually. It's a nice little spin, spin whip he did there to get a couple extra yards at the end. Hudson in the backfield. Dole in the shotgun. Dole's looking. Oh. Pass is high. Kind of left the pass. Kopichka out to dry. Miller just about decapacitated him. Yeah, he he just about folded him up, and that was kind of scary. Nice to see Kopichka hop back up. After taking that helmet to the bread basket. Oh, oh another sloppy handoff. Oh, Results in like the fumble. The Buc Bucks might have retrieved that. We got the some guys Don't rolling around the pile down there. Doll appeared to get it back. Or no, did they award it to the Bucks? Oh, the Bucks take over. The Bucks had it. Looks like the ball will be spotted at about the 38 yard line. Well, that's one thing I noticed <coughs> a couple weeks ago when I covered Holton Lake against the Beavers. They just uh, hate to say it, but just the execution of the fundamentals of handoffs and snaps really seems to be plaguing them. They've got some nice skilled players on the edge. The handoffs and snaps are biting them. Whoa, nice one-handed catch by Miller. Wow. Oh, he breaks loose the two tackles for the 38-yard scamper. The Bucks are really putting on a show here in the third quarter. Some electrifying plays. Yeah, that one-handed catch really showed... Uh, Miller's athleticism. Yeah, then he showed his power being able to break loose, split those tackles. 
Like I continue to say, I, I'd much rather have Myers throwing the ball and Miller being able to catch the ball. Now that extra point will be good. Goichai splits Goichai the uprights. booms the extra point. Fuller's trying to regroup the troops. Yeah, the Bucks didn't waste any time taking advantage of that opportunity. They had other opportunities. I guess the Bobcats earlier in the game, they just couldn't quite capitalize, but. Nope, they cashed in there. Wow, some spectacular plays by Jobin and Miller to start the second half. I know one thing, Holton Lake isn't gonna quit. Got a lot of tough kids over there. A lot of rugged physical players. It's nice to see Ethan Gertis again today. Former Holton Lake standout. See how Goichai kicks this one. And he sends the boat. Hudson looking to scoop it up and make a run. Oh, he finds a little hole. Hudson finds a crease. Yeah, the beat. Gets back in. Goichai trips him up. Well, that'll give the Holton Lake faithful a jolt. It's going to be about a 30-yard return. Looks like they're going to run a little bit here. Little trickeration. Oh! Hudson hands to Kinzer. Kinzer still Kinzer's on his breaking feet. loose before getting slapped up by Hammond. Strong run by Dustin Kinzer. Off the left tackle. Picked up about 12 yards on that, or 13. Hudson hands off. Looks like it's uh -oh. Kinzer again. There's a flag on the play. He was just trying to get up, I think. Yeah, I like that. Little Bronco kick. Must have waved the flag. Incidental Bronco kick. <laughs> oh, oh, wild snap, bites him again. Uh oh, 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 another fumble. Kevin looks to get it. And things Was it Kyle looks to get a little bit out of control. Kyle Kinnon does retrieve it. Sets his bucks up with a first down from their from the Holton Lake 36.
Harger makes a nice strong snap, but he, he quite often throws it high, I've noticed, which is tough to handle. Yeah, you really got to work hard at, you know, you, know, you got to really eye opposition. in that snap. Myers looks to air one out to Goy Chai. Goy Chai for the touchdown! Oh, wait. All hands. Wow, what a throw. What a pass. The quick strike, 36 yard bomb to one of the more prolific receivers in the JPC. Alex Goichai. He's not just a golfer, folks. I'll make it 38 to nothing. PAT is no good. Yeah, Alex Goicha has really been big time for the Bucks this year. Yeah, he's starting to warm up here in the second half. It's pretty quiet in the first half. But. That's one thing, you know, with Holloway establishing the run, he's yep. going to have some passing opportunities here in the second half. Well, that's a really good point. It's always a lot easier to pass when you've established a good running game. With 7.06 left here in the third, the Bucks will be looking to uh, really establish bragging rights in the Cut River rivalry. Yep, it's been a while since Ross Commons won. They're hungry. Tyler Sluck still going. Dragon Bucks. So the Bobcats will take over on their own 43-yard line. I see uh, Ross Commons inserted number four, Nunnally, a sophomore, who recently moved up to the varsity ranks. Dole Dole looks the air one out. Ball short. I'd like to see him, you know, throw a quick pass up the seam to Sluck or Campbell. Let him, let him run after the catch. Dolls looking downfield. That pass is almost intercepted by Kennan. Holt Camp was there on the stop, and they'll bring up third and long. 
Jacob Wilson comes in for Hammond, the Roscommon defensive front. Damian Lewandowski looks like he's getting ready to curl in around the edge. And he does. Airs one out. Dahl lost another one. Oh, I thought Kopitschka Jobin. had that. Jobin with the big hit. Jobin jarred that loose, didn't he? Oh, yeah. He's a hitter, man. And that would have been big for the Cats. I thought Kopitschka was going to reel that one in. Hall is way off. Dull is way off on his throw out to Sluck in the flat. It's going to be a turnover on downs. Yeah, the Bucks really haven't been really forced to make any real long drives yet this game. They've had nice field position all throughout. Yeah, they've been able to control the field position battle, haven't they? Yeah, of course, when you go for it on fourth down, often that kind of... Yeah. A lack of running game and, you know, Jared Dull is kind of struggling on the tonight. Fly. Yeah. You know. It's hard, you know. Coach Fuller's trying to make some things happen, but he may have taken a couple risky decisions going for it on fourth down, setting up the Bucks with fantastic field position. Pitch to Jernigan. Jernigan. Jernigan finds a hole on the outside, and he's gnashing. And he'll take that down to the 25-yard line. That was a really nifty move there by Jernigan initially to Juca, Holton Lake defense lineman. He exploded for another 15 yards. Joe Ben Jernigan line up in the backfield. This time they dial up Jobin's number. Jobin finds the angle. And he busts loose for the 23-yard touchdown strike. And that's going to put him up 44 to nothing. You know, kind of like when you reminded me, I was concerned when Austin Flugel got hurt, but... The Bucks still have a nice core of running backs. Jobin and Jernigan and Miller really have quick feet. Good vision. Goichai's PAT is good. Two oh nine left in the third stanza. Ross Common leads forty five to zero. Defending their home ground. The Cut River rivalry. Yeah, with a whole another quarter to play, this could get ugly. Yeah, you know, a uh, classy guy like Coach Holloway, he'll probably pull back the wolves and you know, insert some of the subs. But you never know. This is a bitter rivalry. Well, the Bucks still have hopes of making the playoffs, don't they? Yeah, you know, if they can win out, win one of the big games against either Meridian or Claire, finish the season 6-3, and three, 
Yeah, no, they they could lose to one of those teams, right, and split that right, cause tough assignment there. Meridian and Claire and still make it a six and three. Look, look at right at Campbell's hands. Nathan Campo in on the stop. And the Bobcats will take over on about their own 48 yard line. Well, the best field position Holt Lake's had in a while. Let's see if they can take advantage. Yeah, I'd, I'd still like to see some shorter routes by the Holt Lake receivers just to get Dull's confidence back. Mitch Tyler, big stop. Sluck with a nice little run. Yeah, Sluck could have pulled loose from Mitch Tyler. That could have been a long gone. You can see that, that good burst that Sluck possesses for a taller, lankier athlete. Bobcats pulled in tight. Dalton, Dalton Bailey. Bailey. Dalton Under ba center. <laughs> Coach Fuller is trying to. Looks like he picks up about four yards on the shake run. Shake things up, doing a little experimenting. See if he can get a spark by putting in, inserting Bailey behind center. Oh my, not again. Dalton Bailey's crunched and forced into a fumble. Ross Common recovers again. Yeah, anytime you fumble this many times in a game, it's, it's hard to keep momentum and keep the game close. Yeah, it's, I remember it's just tough to overcome. With the most dependable, longest lasting full size pickups on the road. Capability with the best in class maximum cargo space. And opportunity with big deals on the number one selling brand in Northern Michigan. Qualified GM employees can combine 0% APR for 60 months. Plus $5,000 total cash allowance on the 2012 Silverado. Or qualified GM employees can combine 0% APR for 72 months. Plus $2,500 employee vehicle allowance on the 2012 Chevy Traverse. See your quality North Chevy dealers today. Chevy Truck Month is back. That means dependability with the most dependable, longest lasting full size pickups on the road. Capability with the best. On their own 48 yard line, 47 yard line. Nunnally's tackled for a short gain. <clears throat> well, you know, it was only just a few years ago when Jared Orban was running for the Bobcats that the Bobcats came here and really put on a show offensively. Really yeah, I remember you talking about Orban really, really erupting that game and 
Kind of made a nice gesture and handed the little brown jug to a Holton Lake youth. <clears throat> Nunnally is upended by Zach Paiva. Of course, this will just be more fuel in the fire come basketball season. That's true. You know, Jeff Goodwin can use all he can get. This has been a while since the Cats have beaten the Bucks in the hardwood. Holton Lake student section is doing their their best to keep the Holton Lake crowd engaged. Yeah, and it's not easy when you're down 45 to nothing. Nope. It takes a lot of resolve and an immense amount of school spirit, but these people aren't letting their team down. That's evident. Let's let the Bobcats take a little break here. Coach Cottrell looks like he wants maximum cargo space. An opportunity with big deals on the number one selling brand in northern Michigan. Qualified GM employees can combine 0% APR for 60 months. Plus $5,000 total cash allowance on the 2012 Silverado. Or qualified GM employees can combine 0% APR for 72 months. Plus 2,500 employee vehicle allowance on the 2012 Chevy Traverse. See your quality north Chevy dealers today. Chevy truck, Matthews. Now we're in a fourth and nine situation. Johnny Miller back to punt. Stand at about the 35 yard line. And Miller really booms one to Hudson. Punt. Miss Tyler there to stop him in his tracks. And the Bobcats will take off on about Quite a their lot own. Of courage there of Kopitschka to take that with Tyler breathing down your neck. Yeah, I don't think I'd like to get muscled over by Miss Tyler either. Just, uh, being standstill, having no momentum. You can't say these Holton Lake boys aren't courageous. They keep fighting, scratching and clawing. You got Dahl back under center. Hudson in the backfield. Three guys out right. Dahl errors one out. Rowley brings it in. Makes a spin move. Before getting drove out of bounds by Mitch Tyler. Looks like he might, yeah, he's gonna move the chains. Be nice to see Holton Lake string together some first downs. We don't have another fumble, do we? Unfortunately, Jared Dull is really struggling tonight with his handoffs. And the Bobcats fumble again, and the Bucks will take over on about the 35 yard line. I 
think we've got a running clock now. This clock's going to evaporate pretty quick. Seven, 7.25 left to go. In the fourth stanza. Yeah, St. Helen will be rocking tonight. Yep. All around Higgins Lake. Not only bottled up by John Vaughn. John Vaughn made a solid tackle there. Excuse me, that was Robert Beard with that tackle. Nunley again stopped in his tracks. Hunter Myers, sure-handed senior quarterback. Hasn't made any turnovers tonight. See the tit-for-tat affair with Gladwin Meridian. Meridian took the lead 24-21. Really? A little pass to Scheibert. That Mustangs team seems to be getting better as the year progresses. Yeah, they'll make for an interesting uh, end of the season. See how things if they shake can up. hold off there. That'd mean Gladwin have to win out, wouldn't they? Make the playoffs. But with Ross Common and Claire all already under their belt, they've got a pretty easy schedule from here on out. Yeah, definitely a favorable schedule. Oh, like the I Bobcats recover a fumble. Looks like I spoke too soon when I mentioned Hunter Myers hadn't made any turnovers. Dustin Kinsler with the fumble recovery. Quarterback center exchange was jumbled up. Kinsler, who's played strong football game as usual, recovers the fumble. Let's see if Dull can connect with Matt Campbell like he did in the first half. He's looking. Oh, he hands off to Hudson. Hudson making moves. For getting brought down by Gage Richards. And Hudson has one of those motors that never stops. He plays tough. Kinzer. Oh, that's Brett Raleigh, excuse me. Brett rally for a burst of about four yards. A high snap. Good job Hudson of Dulles around the corner. Hudson jumping to beat. Jobin and Damian Lewandowski push him out of bounds. Really a fine job of Dull to catch that high snap. Get the handoff to Hudson. It's 
Some good blocking on that left side of the line for the Bobcats. Gave Hudson a nice path for some big yardage. Another high snap. Dolph flies out. Brett Rowley. Dolph tracks it down, recovers. Oh, this is Brett, Rowley. Brett Rowley cuts back in. A little 17 yard splash. Really an athletic maneuver by Rowley there. Shimmy shake on the sideline. Little bounce into the end zone. Yeah, you can see flashes of just how efficient and effective the Bobcats can be with plays like that. Yeah, if you if you erase the fumbles, Holton Lakes made a lot of nice plays on offense. Kinzer looking to boot one in. And the and they wave it off. At least Holton Lake was able to get on the board with a nice drive. You expect Fuller to go for the onside kick, and you might as well give it a whirl. You know, At least try to get a few more points. Yeah, nice. You always like to finish the game on a good note. That carries over to practice on Monday, Tuesday. Kinzer with a squib kick. The Bucks fall on it. Goichai will sit on it. Beard shows good sportsmanship and helps up Goichai off the turf. Back to the Gladwin game. Landon Grove rumbles 23 yards for the touchdown to put Gladwin back up 28-24. Yeah, I just kind of had a feeling Grove would will the G's to a win. Gladwin has had Meridian beat the past couple of seasons. Haven't been able to finish. Harrison was playing Claire tough. Last I heard it was 12 to 7. That was some time Myers ago. Myers will take a knee and wear the clock down that way. Coach Fuller's putting his headset away. Yep, nothing left but to celebrate now. Yeah, well, I think Ross Common, you know, kind of expected to win this game. They've this talent-laden senior class. They were hungry. <laughs> it's been a while since they've beaten Holton Lake. Yep, and they'll ring the bell and celebrate with the 45 to 46 victory. 
over the Holton Lake Bobcats. That's all from Ross Common. Yeah, he did. Actually, he did. He did a little right. Yeah, close, close to one. 